Adrian, if we can do a tell-all expose on Diamond Samson, the rise and fall of a Chicago kingpin, and have him rise back up in the process, possibly taking him back to prison? We're picking up that Pulitzer. But the piece isn't about Diamond. It's about broken nations in Chicago and the young men who fall victim to it. It's not gonna it's be- It's about Diamond now. Adrian, if you don't want it, I can get Worthington on it. I'll get a story. That was the first time we seen Adrian, a.k.a. Secret Lover. And for those young folks out there that don't know what the hell I'm talking about when I call her that, this is what I'm referring to. Secret lovers, yeah, yeah, she looks like my man Atlantic Star in terms of her hair. And this was a call back to the day when music was so good, my young folks that don't know nothing about eight tracks, records, CDs even, things of that nature. And that is her real hair, my people. That's her real hair. She said it on her IG. And this video is to just kind of break down what I think is going to happen with her in season two. When we first saw her, she was talking to that bitch-ass reporter who knew that they was not supposed to be going after Diamond Sampson. As Adrian let us know clearly, they were supposed to be going after the issues dealing with the nations and the victims that become young men, young black men at that, dealing with the crime going on in Chicago started by nations. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Chicago ain't the only nation, and this reporter chick, she ain't going nowhere. She wants that Pulitzer surprise, and she don't give a damn how she's going to get it. So she wants Adrian to put her attention on Diamond. And during this time, we was all kind of knowing that Adrian was an insider for something. We just didn't know what it was. But we knew she had feelings for Diamond the way he let her screw her brains out. And she admitted in this last episode that she does have those true feelings. And so we're going to talk about the theory of what she might do in season two Big shout out to my homie right here who hit me up on IG to talk about this theory. And if you're someone out there that's got theories and you want me to converse with them and maybe make a video, all you got to do is hit me on IG or Twitter. It's a lot easier for me to communicate with people there versus when you communicate on the video itself. Let's get into it. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Hit me on IG or Twitter. Let's go back to what Adrian said, secret lover, in this last episode of Power. The only thing I'm clear on right now is that I'm breaking the first fucking rule of journalism. And what is that? Catching feelings for your subject. Is that what they taught you the first day of school? No, I'm actually they teach you how to spell check. I gotta make a call. I'll be back in a second. Sure. Called in every market. Walter Flynn thinks I tried to take out Vic. Did you? Hell no. So she just basically admitted to Diamond, she's messing up. She's messing up. You're not supposed to fall in love with someone who is a subject of your work. And I think Diamond, he dropped that hammer so good on her, she ain't got no choice. She's in love. But you saw Diamond left the restaurant to go talk to Tommy. And I enjoy how the camera panned to just the back of her head. But ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake, Adrian's secret lover, she's a reporter. And do you not think that her nosy ass ain't swing her head around and see who he was talking to? Hell yeah, she did. So given that backdrop, understanding that she's not going to try to go after Diamond, she's going to want to know who the hell you're talking to, which turns her attentions to Tommy. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe in season two, she's going to take her reporting skills off Diamond and start chasing down Tommy. Now, we all know Tommy has a huge pack in New York. It would basically be the same thing that Adrian is supposed to be reporting on in Chicago, the downfall of nations and how young men get caught up in the drug game. Ain't nobody say it's got to be Chicago because in all estimates, Tommy probably was a bigger kingpin than what Diamond ever was in Chicago. And imagine if she can go back, do the digging, get the history 
of how Tommy was a kingpin in Chicago and New York and then figure out that he faked his death, he dropped the tooth in the burning car, and now has resurrected. This would be a bigger story than Diamond. So ladies and gentlemen, post me all your comments on if you think Adrian could go down that road chasing Tommy. You know she's going to want to know who the hell Diamond was talking to. And Diamond ran up out of there and told her he had a call. But in all honesty, you know she turned her big head around and saw he was out there talking to white boy Tommy. Mm, 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 mm. Secret lover is going to do some digging and she's going to uncover that dead Tommy is really alive Tommy. And that's when we might see the homie Kate Egan. Post me all your comments on if you like this theory, any other theories you think might happen in season two. And also let me know how you guys feel about this right here. I told you you couldn't fucking trust her. Yeah, we still need it for now. The homegirl Lily, landmine Lily, getting her hands on Claudia. She's never liked Claudia the whole series, and I'm hoping in this season finale she might can get them paws on Claudia. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get that life game. Follow me on IG and Twitter, and catch us as we go live Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday nights at 9 p.m. covering the shows that you love. Until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you. The only thing I'm clear on right now is that I'm breaking the first fucking rule of journalism. And what is that? Catching feelings for your subject. Is that what they taught you the first day of school? No, I'm actually they teach you how to spell check. I gotta make a call. I'll be back in a second. Sure. Called in every market. Walter Flynn thinks I tried to take out Vic. Did you? Hell no.